This week on Popcorn Vendors, we talk about my crazy zoo story, annoying customers, Pixar brackets, and this puffle picture I put in Sarai's toilet. <laughs> this week on Popcorn uh... Vendors. This week on Popcorn Vendors, episode number seven. I've got Tim sitting to the left of me, mm. Sarai sitting to the right of me. She's a special guest star, my sister in the house. We're just using her as as star. Yeah. Wait, what's it called? Star. Guess. S- studded Co- star. No, no, no. It's like when star. Star power. Star <laughs> power. Oh. Star power. All righty. What's the topic right. that I've been summoned for? We are going to talk about annoying customers and why they are so annoying. Mm, uh, annoying sometimes. Colby doesn't really have much of a reference. Because he, no, he, he is an annoying customer. I don't know what you're talking about. True. Oh, well, okay then. Colby, do you have anything in your defense? I want to speak to the manager right now. Colby doesn't <laughs> Colby doesn't work yet with like f- in the food industry. <laughs> and the sad thing is, he might never. No. It's okay. Before I get a job, I want to do this at least <laughs> once. Like, I'll go up, I'll order like a full-fledged <laughs> meal. Okay. And then I'll eat the whole thing and be like, no. I didn't like it. Give me something else. Because no, people do that you know to me. People do that. No, actually, same. I, I didn't even think that was possible. Like, yeah. No, literally the other day, this one kid came in and he asked for a sugar-free watermelon snow cone. And I was just like, okay, you know this is sugar-free, right? And the kid was like, yeah, definitely. I know this is sugar-free. And I was like, okay, uh, a sugar-free. I'll we'll have calorie-free su- water. For real. I was like, so a sugar-free watermelon snow cone. And he's mm. like, yeah. So I gave it to him, I made it, and he like took it off of the counter and he went to go eat it. And he comes up like 15 minutes later. It's like already a third way gone. And he goes, hey, this tasted weird. Can I have something different? Yeah. So we were all like, well, can't say no. Right, so we definitely can't had, say no. Yeah, so we definitely had to like remake it for him and put more watermelon in it. Ex- in it <laughs> except like we only filled Did it up. Did you put sugar in it though? Yes! Oh, so, oh, like, so he's yeah. he's mad now. No, oh. and we only filled it up halfway for him because we were like, yeah, Ooh. sorry. You, no, definitely the girl who went into the counter. She's like, yeah, you already drank half of this. So we only filled it up halfway and then gave it to him and then he walked away. Oh, you know, that's funny that you mentioned that because a similar thing happened to me. With a oh, salad? Yeah, or? a woman came yeah. up to me and said, yeah, this lettuce is wilted. <laughs> this lettuce is wilted? <laughs> it's like, would you like to exchange that for another salad? It's like, no, I want a Caesar. I'm like, uh... We, is we it used... a different price? No, it's the same. No, okay. it's like, she wants a Caesar. She got a Caesar. Oh, And she's what? like, I want another Caesar. I'm like, you do not realize we used to have the same lettuce the whole the time. the Caesar that we yeah. do for anything else. <laughs> right. It literally doesn't make any sense. I know. And so I was like, would you like dressing on the side? Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, so it's not, like, soggy or anything. Right. She's like, yeah, that sounds good. It's like, also, no croutons. I'm like, mm, okay. So you want lettuce. <laughs> she wants lettuce, parmesan, wants... and dressing on the side. So basically lettuce. Yeah. I didn't understand that. But she was happy as peaches when I brought it back to her. She's like, oh, thank you. You I'm get like, more money that way anyways. Because I, I mean, if she, mo- cause if she just ordered, no, because, like, if she just ordered lettuce, it'd be, like, a couple bucks, right? But if she ordered, like, a whole salad. <laughs> that's actually like, kind of fair. But she, had, but she had to exchange it. So Which, we, I mean, that's still We lost on one end. salad. Yeah. So they had to throw out one of the salads. But I know what she's she, talking about. Was I she ate... blonde? I can't remember, but she probably was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what they say? They do have more fun. <gasps> Is this mine? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. The, oh, well, Colby's gone. He's went to go to the bathroom. It's just yeah. Soraya and I. Right. Oh, yeah. Like Speaking. This. What? Smother it on your lips right now, please. Chapstick? I would really appreciate it. Wait, what, what flavor is it? <laughs> I don't even know. That's, hey, his chap lips have been bothering me this whole show. Going I'm to not the bathroom. Pretty... Colby should say what he did to my my bathroom whenever I walked in there. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, take a listen, folks. <clears throat> I'm looking at my dresser drawers right now, and I'll paint the picture for you. It's it's a wooden dresser drawer, right? And it's it's beige colored, and they all That's collapsed so on top of each other. Like, I don't know how it happened. Like, full-on pancake. But you have to, like, lift up the other drawers if you want to get to, like, the <laughs> third one or, like, the second to bottom one. This is funny. I'm enjoying this It was story. actually really amusing. And we're, well, we are. I'm about to put another dresser in there. I was supposed to do it today, but I'll probably do it tomorrow. And so I was like, you know what? I got I to gotta clean out my dressers, you know, like, throw away this stuff I don't need. Well, yeah. not, not throw them away. Give them mm-hmm. away. I don't know. Do, I, do whatever I feel CCA. like doing with them. Just stuff them under my bed for later. Oh, you know. or, or that. And I cleaned, <laughs> out, I cleaned out the top one, and that's where I have, like, my 
money in and apparently i kept letters in there too i don't mm. know and i have i have socks it, it, it's supposed to be a sock drawer uh-huh right but there was a lot more stuff in it like a lot like more just stuff in just it. <laughs> toys i i don't even know but i took all the socks out then i saw the toys and miscellaneous stuff on the bottom and one of them was was this piece of paper it said club penguin book club i wrote it myself really i, you, I, I, I drew the on it. Okay, well, Stry drew the picture, but I wrote the club. Penguin I want to read part. this. I know it's we should great. read it out loud yeah. during the podcast. But okay, uh, okay. Anyways, tune um, in next time. There, next time. There, there's a puffle on it on one side. It was a blue puffle, Ooh. and then on the other side, it was a penguin from Club Penguin that I drew, uh, and he was like walking his blue puffle or something. I don't know. That's fine. And I was like, you know what? <coughs> I should do Bless something you. with this. So I walk into Stry's room, and I go into the bathroom. I'm like, where should I put this? Because there was already a piece of tape on it. Mm-hmm. I was like, hey, hey, I'm going to prank her so good by putting it on her bathroom mirror. So I did just that, but it fell off right after. And I didn't want to go into the kitchen to get more tape. So I was like, hmm, hmm, what should I do? So I lifted up her toilet lid. Lifted it up. And then I put it on her toilet bowl. Uh-huh. But here's the good part. Oh, yep. no. When I closed the toilet bowl... It fell into the toilet water, and this is when I started panicking because I was like, "What do I do now? I can't get it out." There, there oh, ah, so I, I kind of just walked out. He, yeah. And I found more s- stuff to like put in a shower, but the the moral this, of the this story stuff, is this stuff was Percy Jackson posters. They were like maybe <laughs> a three by two size, and he hangs up like six <laughs> in my shower. They're a good four years old. I'm literally, I've been working all day. I just come home and Colby goes, hey, check your shower. I'm like, why? <laughs> uh, I taped them all up. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. I feel like when you're an employee, you're going to do something like that. And that's how you're going to get fired. Wait, like be an annoying customer? No, no, no. no, no. I'm going to get like, get, oh, like prank. I'm yeah, going to yeah, like get revenge sense. on the customers. It's like. <laughs> be like someone orders a small soda I give him a water cup <laughs> I'm watching you <laughs> wow. that's why he's fired that's why he doesn't have a job oh, wait really? what are you talking about he has a job he has podcasts what if I, he makes money from this what if I got a job at like a movie theaters just like that kid from 13 Reasons Why I did right I don't know and then he would meet happens. a girl and then go on this whole adventure he he not not you he he well, I am the he in, yeah, the, in, the, in the situé, <laughs> situé, as the cool kids call it. Wait, mm. ready? One, two, three. Situé. That was like... That wasn't even right. That was good. You know what? I was just following his lead. I've heard it both ways. <gasps> <gasps> okay, I was going to say something else, but then you started talking about annoying customers. Right, oh, well, annoying anyways, customers. Keep going. Annoying. Oh. Soraya. Any, yes. Any, <laughs> I'm dying. What, okay, yes. pet peeves. Pet peeves. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. It's probably when, like, the customers, like, they'll be, like, really quiet whenever they order. Mm-hmm. And so they'll talk, like, really business quiet. Business. Yes, exactly like that. And once you repeat the order to them and you say something wrong because you literally can't hear them, and then they, like, start, like, being really annoyed and start yelling at you. Do you ever have those customers? Because... Um, I actually don't work the cashier, but I do. Oh, have... okay. Yeah, because I th- work cashier and drive through. Right. The thing is, I'm the salad guy in yeah. my store. Uh-huh. And people always seem to come up to me asking me the wrong types of questions, like unsalad related. People oh, try to yeah. buy, people try to buy cookies from me. They're like, "What I'm... should I order at McDonald's next time I go?" <gasps> Wait, something. did somebody actually do that? No, no. Would that be so funny? That like walk into Saladas. Should I have the Big Mac or the Quarter Pounder? <laughs> Sir, like this is not McDonald's. Talking. I know McDonald's is next to the street. <laughs> <laughs> Next that got week. really loud in my ear. <laughs> I'm listening to the audio as we record it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm okay, super wait, what biased. were you saying, Tim? Oh, well, anyway, a woman, like, in her 30s. Middle can, age. Yeah. Oh, is that middle age? I thought Ish. it was 40. Yeah. You know, and uh, uh, a 30-year-old woman said, do you have grilled cheese here? And what I'm thinking is, like, yeah, but it's on the kid's menu. Yeah. Why do, would you want to order grilled cheese when you go to a really wait, fancy restaurant? Wait, do you guys actually restaurant? have grilled cheeses there? That's good to know. For kids. Huh. For the kids. I want one. Do it for the kids. <laughs> well, I'm not sure why a 30-year-old woman who goes to a fancy restaurant wants to know if she can have grilled be cheese. <laughs> They're 12 and under, maybe. Can I have some horizon milk with that? Okay, chocolate? Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I don't... Can I, I have the star-shaped chicken nuggets, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's, yeah. I don't know, yeah. I had one, like, lady pull up. I don't know. Mm-hmm. She had, like, five kids in her car. She ordered five different drinks. Uh-huh. 
And so we oh. made we made them, and then three of them were the same thing. So they were it was tiger's blood with blue raspberry, uh-huh. and so we were making them. And then it takes time to you know make a snow cone. So we handed them. Um, all the other four drinks, and then we're just like, um, okay, we still have one more drink coming. And she said, okay. And as soon as I closed the window, she drove off. <laughs> and definitely, like, my manager in the back was just like, that poor kid, he's not even going to get a snow cone. Oh. They literally paid for a snow cone, and they drove off. So oh. we literally, we had to throw it away because Tiger's Blood and Blue uh, Raspberry are not a good combo. Ew. Because Tiger's Blood is strawberry, <laughs> strawberry and cinnamon so, with blue raspberry. Soraya works at Jamba Juice, by the way. No, I work at Bahama Bucks. I quit Jamba Juice. You quit Jamba Juice? Wait, I thought you knew this. Yeah, I quit Jamba Juice. Okay, she doesn't work at Jamba Juice. I was no. wondering why you were saying snow cones instead of juices. Yeah, no, I work at Bahama Bucks. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'll have to go visit you No, you there. should. Man. It's actually pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty lit there. I love their cheesecake flavored one. Do you it's, really? It's I love delicious. their board games. It is. Shoots and ladders, baby. Mm-mm. Ages five to seven. Ooh! Oh. Clue eight and up. You know what I'm saying? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what a hoot. All right. Take a listen to this. Okay, so dad is off at work, oh, right? Great. And that's right. I was go. gone doing who's, who knows what. And then the other little girl sister that lives in this house, she was playing Minecraft. So I was like, you know what? I got to find... Good songs to sing for upcoming auditions, right? Right. Mm-hmm. You are such an auditioning boy now. I know. I'm so proud of this so, guy. Auditioning Here's boy. what I did. I went boy. into our garage 2.0. You know what I'm talking about? Like the garage oh, yeah. outside the garage. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, why don't you just call it a shed? Because you can see now. I want to shed away from those topics. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> see what I did there? I saw ah. I went into the shed. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I got to practice. I got to sing my heart out. And you know, I do that in the car. I've 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 settled <laughs> on a song finally. I'm gonna sing Electricity from Billy Elliot. And okay, here's the thing. I went in there and I was like, whoo, I can sing as loud as I want, no one will hear me. It's fine, right? It's, it's re- that's a relieving factor. It's like yeah. nobody can judge me, I can just Yeah, get, no one can hear me. I can sing belt however your heart loud out. I want. Yeah, and and if but, I But oh, but oh. but there was a hornet wasp in there. Not a normal wasp. Not oh. a not a oh, it's, it's kind of a scary wasp, you know. It's subpar. Not a bee, okay? Not not a horsefly. A yeah. hornet wasp, baby. And I was like, what do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. So I ran to the other side of the shed, and I just stayed there. And I looked at the wasp who's just flying around, and then he finally, like, settled on one of the beams on okay. the, the okay. shed wall. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, you know what? It's okay. So I stayed over there for a little bit. Uh-huh. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and then I waited, like, a good three minutes, and I was like, it's okay. I don't think he's going to do anything. Mm-hmm. Then I walk over there. And then the second I walk over there, he buzz, like all over my head, just buzz. I was like, oh! so I ran out of there and I forgot to turn the light off too. So when I was like halfway to the house, I like turned back and then I, 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 I had to turn the light back off. But anyways, maybe he just wanted to hear you sing. Maybe he was lonely. Yeah. Did maybe, you ever factor maybe, that in? Maybe he wanted to know what all the buzz was about. <laughs> oh. You just deprived a wasp. Entertainment, Colby. <laughs> How does it make you feel? So so I, I, I don't think you would act any differently. I have to be honest. Here. Yeah, like you wouldn't go and give the wasp a hug. I wouldn't give it a hug, but I probably. I don't no, know. I don't think you would. I really don't. Hey, can I stop you there? Did you ever put the chapstick on? No. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, well I can tell. Cha- ah! I'm dying, Tim. You should use some chapstick. Yo, I don't want any chapstick. I'm fine. Okay, angsty teenager. <laughs> Relatable. I don't need no chapstick. This is not a phase. What accent I'm is that? I'm fine. Angsty um, teenager. Didn't yeah. you hear him? Oh, yeah. My bad. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm, mm. our family went to the zoo for Christmas. Oh, no. Right? The zoo. I was like, when did we the go zoo. to the zoo? <laughs> for I mean, Christmas. What? For Kay. Christmas. No, I remember it now, and, but and, I just... And, and, I'll tell you what the best part of that zoo story was. Why Christmas? We, why, we, why are we talking about Christmas? We walked in because it's to the March. little like bug place. It's April. Where oh, whoops, it shows where the bugs are. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, that was really neat. Yeah. And yeah, it was yeah. great. I loved it. It was kind of small, but it's okay because there was a lot of cool bugs. A lot in of there. little cockroaches and insects. Ew. <laughs> and there were there Wait. were. There were so many little kids in there, which is like fine. Like I like oh, kids. Oh, look Whatever. at the look fine. at the bugs! But they were all screaming, ah! just like, like that. No, for real though. What? <laughs> Every single one of them. Like it was crazy. I was like, <laughs> I want to get out <laughs> of. Rules of three. <laughs> you 
wanted to go but and I meditate? S- I s- <laughs> that. You want to do some gospel music? Oh. But I stayed in there because mm-hmm. I, I was a trooper. I was like, man, I got to yeah, learn about these bugs. What? I No, I didn't. Wow. Okay. Okay. Speaking of bugs, that oh. reminds me of a bug's life, which reminds me of oh. the Disney Pixar bracket. We bouncing so, around. So, we are. But <laughs> what no, is this? The Kevin just, Bacon theory this now? Is, this is... This is what my mind Kevin like. Bacon was in a movie with Ryan Reynolds, who was in a movie with, with Adam Sandler, who I met. So, therefore, I'm related to Kevin Bacon. Yeah, exactly. So, this is, this is how my mind works. But, anyways, think I'm thinking about works. the Disney Pixar bracket. What? What? So, Tim. Yeah. Have you seen that thing that's going around, like, Twitter or Instagram and stuff, the Disney Pixar bracket, to where, like, it has all the Pixar movies on one side and all the Disney movies on one side? No, I haven't. Have you not? No. And, like, I don't go on Twitter. And basically, Facebook. what it is is that it narrows it down. And you uh-huh. keep on saying, like, you choose between two movies. So, like, choose between, like, A Bug's Life and Cars. And if Cars is better, then that goes on to, like, the next bracket. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, it goes all the way down um, at two, where it's finally, like, a Pixar movie versus a Disney movie. Uh-huh. So, Tim, what's your favorite, favorite either Pixar or Disney movie? Just now that I'm thinking about that bracket, and it's a trend right now. So, it's okay. You sound okay. like an interviewer. There okay. Okay. Well, what are my options? It's, like, out of every Disney and Pixar movie. That's not fair. That's too much thinking at once. No, but, like, uh, top... Okay, wait. Top favorites. Uh, The Incredibles, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Ratatouille's kind of... Okay. Oh, so, like, we have The Incredibles gone. and Ratatouille, and then favorite not Disney Not Brave. <laughs> Brave is good. No, it's not. I like Brave. Uh, it's a cute movie. And the music's really good. Oh, it has music in it? Yeah. Forgettable music. Yeah. I don't remember the music in yeah. it. See, that's... That's like, what I just musical, said. Like, like, I remember music... the music in like Frozen. Too. No, it's not like a musical. I, I it's mean, like the I... music, yeah, it's like the score and stuff. It was. It's probably okay. I was gonna say it was my least favorite, but no, Wally is my least favorite. I forgot this was a thing. Wally's good. No, Wally's really bad. <laughs> I guess you could say Wally's trash. Hey, Colby, okay. you look what you've done to your sister. Yeah, I know. She's making wait, puns. Yes, now. I know. Okay, but wait, why don't you like Wally? Because it's really boring. It's not stupid. boring. It is cute. It's not. It's cute. I mean, it's two I robots get. In love. Wally has a reputation for being hated, though. Like, no. On the real. Yeah, 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 it does. Does it really? Yeah, yeah because I like Wally. Every, no, but no, it's like, like my I mean, dad. How much is true? My dad walked out of the theater and he was like, "Man, why would you walk out of the theater? It's such oh, a heartwarming story. It was over. It, oh, oh, oh! I thought you meant like halfway through the movie, like he walked out, and I was no. like, well, okay. No, sorry, that's out of me. It was over. No. Did you really hate it more than you hated Sing, though? You remember that movie? Sing? You know what? Sing, yeah, I the like. Reality TV show I would. Pr- I, if you gave me a choice between Sing and Wally, I would choose Sing. Secret Life of Pets was almost as bad, too. <gasps> oh. I like Secret Life of Pets. Soraya, why? You're so positive. Like, Secret Life of Pets and Sing, like, I can't. They, they made it for money, story. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they didn't do it because of artistic. And Stop. I think they're making another Secret Life of Pets. Like, no, they're not. They oh. better not. No, they're not. I heard they're making a second sing, though. Yes, they actually are making another sing. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I have to say this right now. You know the little koala bear? Yeah. If they took away the whole animal thing yeah. and replaced it with vegetables, the koala, the main koala character, could literally be Bob the Tomato. Why does this go through your head? But, but don't you see it? Now that I said it, no. I mean, like the koala bear is like, oh, I, I got the passion, and his his voice is kind of high, and if he was just a tomato, it would totally work. If he was a tomato, it wouldn't be <laughs> koality. You anyway, you were talking about anyway the Pixar thing. Yeah. Okay. No, I was just wanting to ask, like, what was your favorite? Like, if you had to do that, so you said um, Ratatouille. Right. And what was the other one? The Incredibles. Okay, Ratatouille and Incredibles, and then two fa- two favorite Disney movies. Uh. Okay, let me think. He's thinking. I forgot, like, every Disney movie that ever existed. Okay, let me think. I guess... Cinderella 3. Uh, no. Little Mermaid 2. Mm, okay, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, not even close. And, um... What Don't else? do that. What else? Beauty and the Beast and... No, I guess The Little Mermaid... You need to be still a little mermaid. Is a little mermaid? Because the little mermaid's got some jammy music in there. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Mm-mm. Under the sea. Yeah. Under the sea. Under <laughs> the sea. Yeah. Under see, the... but try Under working the... with a kid who doesn't know that song until the show day. The actual uh, show day. Well, we're not talking about the spinoffs of it. We're we're just talking about like the normal. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just talking about I've been scarred. I've been like mentally scarred by the Little Mermaid. So. Yeah. That, that's right. You helped out with one of the Little Mermaid plays, right? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I because I worked with um, at LAC with Little Mermaid and Annie, so. How did you enjoy that? It was, okay, the show was really nice. It was really rewarding. And some of the rehearsal processes were, like, actually a lot of fun. Because, I mean, the kids, this is the first time, it was most of their, like, first times in theater ever. Uh huh. So being able to see them, like, being exposed to that and getting used to theater and being able to, like, work as a team and learn lines and learn music, that was a really neat aspect. But it was also the aspect that made it so hard because um. the kids don't know anything. So they didn't know <laughs> what to expect. Bl- so, like, literally we had a run-through day of the show. Oh, really? And none of them knew their lines. Oh. None of them did. None of them knew their lines, their music, or their blocking. But, like, Showtime come around, like, actually in front of an audience. They nailed everything. What? Which, I, I don't know what? how that happened. It is some show miracle. But that happened, so that was really nice. So I signed up, like, I'm... Oh, God yeah. bless us, everyone. I'm helping out again with Peter Pan and Snow White. Snow White. The rock and tail of Snow White. Yeah, this was not the highest peak of my life. Hashtag Soraya as mom. You do realize we're recording this, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, no, I know that. I'm just saying. You fine with everybody knowing that? I ever, I'm, Everybody knows that one way or another. Okay. Yeah, but... All right! <laughs> no, it's not the rock and tail of Snow White. It is another form of Snow White with mm. Jersey Mirrors. Jersey Mirrors? What does that even mean? I don't know what it means. Hold on. They thought it was a name. They talk like like they're they're from Jersey. Oh, you should have said New Jersey Mirrors. (laughs) As opposed opposed to Old Jersey Mirrors. Soraya, I didn't know you could do that. That's literally all I have. Do it again. (laughs) I don't even know if I... Hey, how you doing? Can I get a uh, saucy mushroom mushroom pizza? pizza. (laughs) No, they talk like they're from Jersey. That's that's, that's literally... good, Soraya. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, if I had to help the kids with their accents, that's the only thing I'm saying. I'm like, okay, you have to learn from this. But yeah, but it's actually <laughs> yeah, it's pretty pretty fun. Yeah, have their own little twist on it. Can't make it to the shows, which make... I'm kind of sad. But it's wait, fun. so Snow White with New Jersey accent? So no, it's like everything's changed. The art director wrote it. Oh, so. Okay, well, mm-hmm. all right, that's one way to do it. We ought to do that, with, but with German accents. Go we. What? What? <laughs> what? 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 what do you think you're doing? It's so weird how I got to play a German character. I don't really have a German So accent. weird. So weird. So. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, right? You got yeah. something to say? No, I'm just dying. Oh, you're dying? Why? I have no idea. I just am. Is the stress of being in a podcast too much for you? Yeah, absolutely. So, Soraya, how have you been... over in- and die. Soraya, how have you been enjoying uh, being in our little popcorn vendors number seven? It's a great honor, seven. I don't know. You're our like first a pretty- guest. I know, seven seems like a pretty special... Yeah, seven's a special number. Yeah. I don't know how this- yes, it is. Yeah, D- 007, number. James Bond. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty It's pretty neat. Glad to be here. Yeah, man. High five. There we go. Awesome. We didn't really pick that up on the mic. Wait, do it again. Do it again. Ready? There we go. Yeah. Kobe feels a little left out. He's just there in the middle. It's okay. Is it though? Kobe's crying now. Yeah. Tears are like streaming down his face. Did you have any last remarks? TrinityRoastTeaShops.com. You want some tea? You thirsty? Get it, boy. This one's free, mom. We won't charge you this time. Okay, Soraya. Okay, Tim. Maybe we should harmonize goodbye. Like, goodbye, goodbye. Good. Bye. 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 Soraya's not joining. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.